In this video, I'm going to show you how to turn your photo into a pop art portrait inspired by Andy Warhol art. Before you start, you can download the color pad I will be using and my free brushes. They are linked in the description of this video. And if you enjoyed this tutorial and would like to learn more about drawing in Procreate and get many Procreate brushes, join my Patreon. Link is in the description. And with all that being said, grab your drawing tools and let's start. Let's make a new canvas. I will make A for canvas. And first we are going to divide this into four equal parts. We are going to do it in this way. First let's color this whole canvas in one color. Let's take this one and just drag and drop it in here like that. Now we can take the arrow tool and here at the bottom let's turn on snapping and pick here uniform option. Now we can just move this over here like that and it will snap in the middle of the canvas. Let's tap here to finish and we are going to duplicate it four times and move it to different positions. So let's open the layers, let's duplicate it, so swipe on it to the left and pick duplicate. Let's change color of this. Let's take this one. Drag and drop it in here. And now let's take arrow tool. And we can move it over here like this. And it will also snap in here. Let's tap here to finish and let's do it again. So duplicate this layer now. Let's change the color of this. Let's take this color. Let's drag and drop it in here, take the arrow tool and move it now over here. Tap here to finish and let's do it one more time. Let's duplicate this layer, change the color, let's take the green one, drop it over here, take the arrow tool and let's move it over here. Let's tap here to finish. Now let's import our photo. You should have your photo in the gallery of your iPad. So open your photo gallery and find your photo. And here is my photo. We are going to tap with the finger on ourselves like this. And move it to the side, drop it. And then you can pick here the option of copy. Let's go back now to Procreate. And we are going to paste the photo in here. So let's go to the Actions menu, Add and pick here Paste. Now tap on Allow Paste and your photo is here and it doesn't have any background. Let's move it to one of the rectangles and let's scale it like that so it will fit the whole rectangle. So the size of the picture will be on the sides of the rectangles. And if you have to cut the bottom part of it, it's okay. So my photo will be like this. We can tap here to finish this. And let's cut whatever is outside of this orange rectangle. So let's open the layers. Let's tap on this orange rectangle here. Tap again and pick here select. Now here at the bottom, make sure the color fill is not turned on. Let's turn it off. Now we have this rectangle selected. And we have to tap here on invert to select everything that's outside of this. Now let's go back to the layers. Let's go to the layer of our picture. Let's tap on it again and pick here clear. So this way our photo will fit the rectangle. We are going to duplicate this photo three times. So let's duplicate it like that. Swap it to the left and pick duplicate. Do it again and one more time and now we have to move the photos so each rectangle will have their own photo. So let's take the arrow tool, let's move it over here. Now let's take another layer, take the arrow tool and move it over here. 
and now this layer let's take the arrow tool and let's move this photo over here let's tap here to finish and now we are going to duplicate each of the rectangle and put it on top of the photo so like this let's take our orange rectangle let's duplicate it and let's take this new layer here and put it above this photo so i think it's above this layer yes now we can take this layer blue one duplicate it and move it above I think it's this photo now. No. Let's see. I think it's this one. Okay. Now let's take the purple layer, duplicate it, and we can move it on top of the photo. I think over here. No. So it's above this one. Okay. And now the green layer, let's duplicate it and put it over here. Okay, so now to get our nice kind of pop art effect here, we just have to change the blending mode of those layers, of those new rectangles on top of the photos. So let's start here. Let's tap on this end letter and let's change this here to hard mix. And now you already can see here some kind of effect, but don't worry, this is not finished yet. We are still going to manipulate this. Let's do the same here now with this rectangle. Let's change it to hard mix. Now this one. Change it to hard mix. And now the blue one. Let's change it to hard mix. And now let's take a small break and I would like to ask you to write a comment with the word colors. It would mean a lot to me, I would know that you enjoyed this video and I could see who is watching me, so thank you for doing that. And now let's go back to drawing. Okay, so now this looks like that. Let's play around with the photos to make this look nicer. Let's start here with this one the one that is under the orange rectangle we are going to make it black and white first so let's go to the adjustments take hue saturation brightness and we can turn down the saturation here let's make it none now this photo is black and white now we have to change here curves to change the contrast on this photo so let's go again to the adjustments and take curves now we have to play here with those two points. We can move them around and see what effect we are going to get here. So everybody here will have different settings probably. Depending on your photo, you will move the points in different place. And you can see what you like the most. I like it now like this. So I can have your black color, red, yellow and white. When you're satisfied with your result, just tap here to finish. Now we can do the same to this layer. So let's go to it. It's this one. First let's make it black and white. So go to the adjustments and take hue saturation brightness. Let's make saturation none. And now again, let's tap on the adjustments and take curves. Let's move this here. And we can try to have here four colors too. You can try to get it in the same places like we have here in the first photo, but it's not necessary. Okay, I think for me it will be something like that. Okay, let's tap you to finish and now move on to this one. So under the purple rectangle, this photo, let's go to the adjustments, take hue saturation brightness 
and turn down the saturation to zero. Now let's take the curves and let's play with the points here. Okay, so here I will leave it like this. It's not exactly the same as the other ones, but that's okay. Let's tap here to finish and go to the last photo. This one. Let's make it black and white. So let's go to Hue Saturation Brightness, turn down the saturation to zero, and now let's take the curves. I like this one like this. So let's tap here to finish, and we are almost done. We can still change the background colors. Before we do that, we have to first make sure that those top rectangles are affecting only a photo. Because now, this green color is also affecting the color in the background. So to do that, we have to make sure that the green layer here is only laid on our photo. So to do that, let's tap here on this layer and pick your clipping mask. Now this color is only applied to our photo. Let's do the same here now to the orange layer. Tap on it and pick Clipping Mask. Now here this one, purple one. Tap on it and pick Clipping Mask. And the blue one. Tap on it and pick Clipping Mask. Okay, so now we can change the background colors here. Let's start here with this rectangle. The first one, the orange one. Let's go to the adjustments and take Hue Saturation Brightness. And now here you can just play around with this hue, slide it to the left or right to see what color you like the most. I would like to get here something blue, maybe like that. And now you can also make it brighter. I will make the brightness here 60% and my hue is 5%. If you want, of course, you can pick different color. Let's tap here to finish. And now let's move to this color. So let's go to this blue rectangle here. Let's go to the adjustments, take hue saturation brightness. And let's change the hue. I will make it kind of light orange color. Okay, I like this color like this. So my hue is 97 and brightness 58. Let's tap here to finish this and move on to this rectangle. So this layer here, let's take the adjustments, hue saturation brightness, and let's change it up. I like here this kind of greenish color like this. I'll make it brighter just a little bit. Okay. So my hue is 16 and brightness 52. Let's tap here to finish this and the last rectangle over here. The green one. Let's take this layer. Now let's go to the adjustments. Take hue saturation brightness and let's change the hue. Maybe here we can have something pinkish like this. So my hue is 22 and brightness 52. Let's tap here to finish this. And now this illustration is finished. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and I hope you can share your drawing with me on Instagram. I would love to see it. And if you'd like to draw more with me, don't forget to check out my Patreon. Link is in the description. Thank you so much for watching and see you in my next video. Bye!